Greetings! How's everyone doing? Welcome to this week's Tammy's D Diary. Minasama, konnichiwa, Tammy desu. Kyo wa machi no shinsaku item mask to brasu ga revishite omoimasu. Ano, kono video wa eiko de marimasu ga, ano, nihongo no jimaku o tsukemasu. Ano, dozo yoroshiku o naigai shimasu. Today I want to do a small review on two new moitié items. One is the Candabra logo brows and the other one is the new moitié lace mask which got sold out pretty quickly. So I personally wore the lace mask for a full day and I can tell you, just share with you my thoughts on the mask. So I got both colors. This is the silver one. They come with uh, silver charms. And the gold one, they come with gold charms. Now the colors are pretty subtle because they're not a big um, charms at all. So you can wear the mask with whichever color feel best for your coordinate for that day. These lace masks, they don't provide any protection when you wear them alone. So you can only like wear them with on top of a mask for protection or with some kind of uh, paper towel which I will get to that in the details. So let me show you if you put on this regular mask. And you just put it on top of I'm sure everything is fit. So I wore the mask like this for a whole day. What I realized is that by the end of the day, the mask, it just, it drops like this, like easily. I'm thinking because the uneven weight of the charms. So as long as you have them, like it's not a big problem. I would still recommend this mask to be like, extra pretty when you're out during this first time. I actually got compliments uh, when I was out wearing a mask like this. So you can also wear this with paper towel and I'll tell you why. So back in early February, um, when here in Hong Kong when we first got hit by the virus, like the medics, they don't have enough supplies, like they don't have enough masks because everyone was buying masses. Everyone from China was buying masses from everywhere and so does like the Hong Kong people, they're just going everywhere buying all the masses. So our medics doesn't have enough masks and in the news, there was one news in early February saying that what the medics do is they take a paper towel, they fold it in half or maybe like just in the size of your mask. Put it in the mask and just wear it like this. In the news, according to the medics, they said that the paper towel, the texture of the paper towel and the thickness resembles around close to 90% of uh, N95 by 3M. So when masks are in shortage, what they do is they put a fabric mask and inside they have a folded paper towel because the paper towel it has some thickness and it can act like as of a filter from those like very professional masks. So if you don't have any mask on hand, you might want to consider this technique. I am not like a data science person so I, I couldn't say for sure it is like a 90% um, of uh, N95 but this is in our news and our medics are saying that and I think you could try. Here's just some details of the mask. It's laced with trimmings. It feels very soft. And some tips for caring for the mask because after you wear the mask out, outside is technically 
dirty with germs and you will want to wash it however because this is lace so if you overwash it it will the texture it will ruin and have like you know you know all the old laces it's like there's fabric threads showing and it just become very delicate uh, what i do is i use antibacterial and viral spray i spray on both sides of the mask and just let it dry and if it gets really dirty maybe you say like twice twice a month, then I will like hand wash it, like very gently. Um, that should keep your mask more long lasting, I think. And now we are on to the other item. This is the Candera Embroidery Brows in woman's size. I got this in grey. It comes with like a lovely embroidery, a mate embroidery, a symmetrical cuffs that kind of goes well with the collar here. This blouse is made in China and is 65% let me go check. I think 65% polyester. Yes, 65% polyester and 35% cotton. Um, the blend, this cotton blend, what it does is it provides more structure to the brows because if it is 100% cotton, it gets really wrinkly but um, this brows, you can see there's like a slight wrinkle developing here already um, but I think adding the polyester into the blend helps the shirt stay, stay um, nice and straight The buttons, the black buttons um, According to Mottier's website, they said that um, it's prone to heat. So if you wash it, don't use like hot water and don't iron it because it will cause like color transfer onto the shirt. I haven't tried that yet, which I'm kind of scared to try. So I, I will abide to that rule and wash it in cold water and make sure no high heat touching the buttons. Um, I will be showing this blouse in a casual non lolita coordinate as well as a lolita coordinate to show like the how versus how this blouse can be. I really like the new mate for having items that you can use on not for non lolita coordinates and lolita coordinates alike. Um, very uh, versatile, convenient. I love it. Um, what I don't like about this blouse is. Um, when I try to open up the buttons, it feels very hard to like open. Maybe the buttonhole is made too small. And after I tried it on for a couple of times, I realized there's this fabric like frets developing here. And it's coming from the buttonhole, like here, like these. And it's in every buttonhole. I think it is because of the fabric of the shirt. After they made the buttonhole, oh, see, it's like really, it's really hard to open. And you have these threads coming out. It feels like it's from the fabric. I don't know what that is, but this is not nice. But you can just use the scissor and snip it off. That should be fine. Um, I have the same problem with the pajama, the new pajama, which is also made in China. I'm thinking maybe it's the problem with that factory, maybe. Um, it's just the buttonhole is not, not as clean as this bad collar brows I'm wearing. Um, it is made in Korea. Uh, this doesn't have that problem at all. Everything is very smooth, very nice. But this is like the only point I don't like about this blouse but other than that it's pretty decent and I would recommend it if you have like office jobs and you want something that's versatile for like, every day now let's go to the coordinates This will be how I style the brows when I'm in the non lolita occasions. I wear the Mate scarf as a belt to add some accent to the waist. Very casual, appropriate for work. Have a bag and I'm ready to go.
This is how I like to style this blouse in a Lolita way. I'm pairing this with a cross skirt from the Omate collection, a back corset from the Bad Asymmetrical skirt from last year, the Mottier scarf as a tie, nocturnal romance tights, and a local embroidery beret. I love this style because it has some kind of a military vibe to it. This also features various degrees of grey, black, and white. I find this style pretty sophisticated for Lolita. I like this style and I hope you like it too. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I hope you like this small review I have for you here. I actually did a poll asking everyone if you like to see a Mottier review or uh, some small talks about like petticoats. Uh, I got the Mottier review like that one just one so I'm doing the Mottier review today but in the future I hope to bring you more interesting content related to the Lolita lifestyle. Um, I know some of you like the cooking shows, um, I'll be making those as well and also about skincare or cosmetics. If you have anything particular you want me to talk about, you're welcome to send me a message. Um, that's for now. I'll catch you up next week. Bye!